Okay, so we're here at FitCon with Jen Selter. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing today? I'm good, I'm very, very good actually. Glad that we're meeting you here today. We spoke, heard you speak earlier, loved what you were saying. We are all about promoting a healthy lifestyle. What advice would you give to people out there to start living a better life? The first thing I think you need to commit to is consistency. You're never going to see results or anything if you're not consistent with whatever you're doing. So if it's eating healthy or working out, you have to kind of make a commitment. And it all starts with one day you wake up and you're like, I love the way this feels and I want to change for the better. When did that happen for you? When did you decide this is it? When I was working at the gym after high school, I was very stressed and I found that working out and sweating relieved my stress and it made me feel better. So I always remember the feeling after I work out and that's what motivates me to keep going every day. That's really interesting. So at the moment over here in the UK, a really popular thing is mental health. Yeah. Prince Harry has come out and said he had mental health issues. Do you say keeping fit helps with mental health as well? Is that what inspired you? Because yeah. when you're young, you, people go through loads of different changes yeah. and you start getting focused early on. It's better. Yeah, I definitely suffer from anxiety and I found that working out helped my anxiety and helped me feel better. So I encourage it in every way possible to work out and be into fitness. Are you used to it yet? on Instagram. Does your phone go crazy? Because if I get 12 notifications on my phone, I feel like it's going to freeze. Your phone must go off the charts. Well, my notifications are turned off only right, for people yeah, I follow. Course, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I love checking my Twitter. I love checking everything. And I love responding to my followers. I'm all about interacting. So, I love it. When did you realize that was it? When did you go, oh, I've become it? Did it just happen overnight for you? Or did it gradually over time? It's 11 million now, isn't happened, it? It happened, but it's been like a thing now for the past three years. And it's amazing to keep growing and inspiring others. Cool. So we noticed that uh, early on you mentioned you're not really into supplements or anything like that. There's loads here, but what sort of diet would you recommend for people? So to be honest, coming to this fitness expo, it kind of, um, it's a bit overwhelming and a lot of people actually say like, wow, you're so tiny. Like you, do you even lift? Yeah. And like, any, like everyone's different and everyone has their own idea of what they want to look like. I'm all about keeping natural and I like being tiny. There are some girls who want to be bodybuilders, and I respect that so much. I wish I could do that. But, you know, it's about what makes you happy, and I like the way I am. I'm walking around. I'm quite a skinny guy. All these other bodybuilders here, yeah. I feel that they, they look around and they go, oh, yeah, he's skinny. I don't worry. I could take him. He pipes up. It's all done. He's fine. That's the thing. The world needs more, like, a, people need to accept more of the different body types, and everyone's different. Everyone's born different, and you could be the best version of yourself, but you're never going to look like... Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. I'm never going to look like a Victoria's Secret model. Yeah. And that's that's it. But, you know, it's all about being the best version of yourself and, you know, making a difference. That's beautifully refreshing. Thank you very much. Everybody, Jen Selter.